how much headroom should I leave? Now, when it comes to mastering, the, the actual answer in today's modern industry of digital mixing, it's not, it's not how it used to be. It's not a case of, you know, we have to stick to minus six dB. You have to send it to a master engineer, minus six, minus three. It has to be that. Do not peak above that. And it's not true anymore. It's not true anymore. Right? Th th when you send a track for mastering, as long as you have a full dynamic range, do not peak at zero dB, it's perfectly fine. There's no issues. There is no issues on our end. If we receive a file that is, let's say, a 24-bit WAV, and it has a full dynamic range, it's not clipping in any way, shape, or form. Waveform is, let's say, minus 0.5, right? Tiny bit below zero dB. Perfectly fine, no issues. We will decrease the volume to what we need it at, right? There's nothing wrong with you sending your track at even 0.01 dB. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to hit minus three, minus six. You don't have to. As long as you are below zero dB, you're perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. And that is because we have the ability to adjust the volume to where we need it, right? It's not a case of hit zero, uh, hit minus three, hit minus six. You don't have to. So anyone that's talking to you about, um, you know, we need that track at minus three, minus six, they don't know what they're talking about because they don't. it's not necessary anymore, right? It's not like we can't adjust it. Now, now think of it from your perspective, right? If you, get a, if you get a file, if you send us a file, right, at minus six, fine. If you send us a file at minus 0.5, fine. What's the difference? What, 5.5 dB? If I need it quieter, Pull it down, clip gain, bosh, down. Input gain, down. It, 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 because you're working in a door, you can just adjust that volume to whatever you want it at. So to answer your question, what, what loud, like what, how much headroom should I leave? Leave as much as you want, it doesn't matter. Go at one dB, go at minus three. We say minus three, minus six, minus three. Because it's just, you know, it's, it's just the thing you say. And, and what it is, it, it's more a case of, if, if everybody aims for minus three, between minus six and minus three, all it does is it leaves wiggle room. There's three dB of headroom there that, that you can just float into or out of, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as you do not clip at zero dB. If you clip, right, then what you've got is a waveform that has clipped audio signal, right? So it's, it's square when you look at it because the dynamic range is cut off because it's gone above zero dB. That's all we don't want to see. We just want you to be below zero dB. So those dynamic ra that dynamic range goes up and down, waveforms, nice dynamic, and there's nothing cutting the top off where it's clipping. And that is, in the most simplest of terms, the answer to what headroom to leave. You know, if, if you're working on an analog desk, totally different situation, right? J you know mix how you would into your analog desk. Mix, if anything, mix as loud as you can to reduce the new noise floor. The majority of people, 99.9% .9 of people in this day and age are working on a, on, on a digital in the box, uh, mixing inside their door, right? When you export your session or when you're printing your session, just make sure it's below zero dB and everybody's happy. That's how much headroom you should leave.